I am so glad you're here for another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different chemical transformations. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this chemical transformation. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. This chemical transformation has a very specific name. It is known as a manic reaction, M-A-N-N-I-C-H. A manic reaction is a three component reaction that always results in the alpha alkylation of some acidic group adjacent to a carbonyl functional group, and it always contains formaldehyde as one of the reaction reactants, so this is called formaldehyde, and it usually uses an acidic workup conditions or a catalytic amount of acid. And typically, the amino alkylation occurs via either a primary or secondary amine group like this reactant. You can also think of a manic reaction as like a mixed aldol reaction. So in a manic reaction, the typical first step is going to be to protonate the oxygen contained in formaldehyde. So upon protonation, what is being done is that you're effectively turbocharging the electrophilic carbon, making it incredibly susceptible to nucleophilic attack. So this carbon position is now ready and willing to accept sometimes weaker nucleophiles than might normally attack this carbonyl carbon position, which is what's gonna happen next, where papyridine, which is this six-membered ring with the nitrogen on it, will come and attack this carbonyl carbon position, moving up these pi electrons and leaving us with an alcohol. So the product of this transformation is going to be one in which we've now generated a new nitrogen to carbon bond, and what we have done is now this nitrogen is going to be positively charged and it is attached to a carbon which now has an alcohol on it. So remember this carbonyl carbon it was what was attacked, so we are left with an alcohol at that position, and this is the product of this transformation. And what will happen next is just going to be a proton transfer between this nitrogen, hydrogen, and this alcohol, giving us a neutral nitrogen, and instead, now what we're going to have is a positively charged alcohol, which can be used as a good leaving group. So now that proton transfer that has occurred, now that is on this other, what was previously an alcohol, now contains these two hydrogens on it, making it a very good leaving group because it can leave as water. And that's exactly what will happen where these lone pair of electrons on nitrogen will come down to form a new imine or aminium ion, and it will kick off water as a leaving group, giving us a new nitrogen to carbon double bond and leaving us with the rest of this original a pyridine six-membered ring, but now this nitrogen is again positively charged. Now importantly, just like before where we had this ketone, we have an acid that can come and be protonated. So if this carbonyl oxygen attacks an acid and becomes protonated, this will generate a new turbocharged carbonyl species because this is positively charged. What can happen is these pi electrons can come up giving us a positively charged carbon species, or you can think of this as like a, a, another resonance structure, for example, where now the positive charge is here, and what can happen is these hydrogens can come and be deprotonated by whatever the conjugate base is formed, let's just say it was OH minus, and you can form an enol at this position. So if you generate, if you run through these steps, what you're generating is an enol at this position. So an enol has been formed here. And I mentioned this enol formation because we can take this enol and go back to our aminium ion, and what might happen is that newly formed enol at this position can actually do what you normally see when you think of aldol reactions, except this is a mixed aldol reaction. So what will happen is these electrons can come down, making us use these pi electrons, or generating a nucleophilic carbon position, which can come down and attack this turbocharged electrophilic carbon because it's adjacent to a nitrogen that's positively charged, moving up these electrons and giving us a neutral species here. However, notice that we'd be conserving the charge because now we're gonna end up with a positively charged oxygen. And this is how we do that amino alkylation. So remember, we're forming a new carbon-carbon bond between this carbon and this carbon. And that is what is going to generate that amino alkylation where we are 
alkylating at this carbon position to this amine. And then from here, all that remains is one last proton transfer where some base that was formed through these sequence of events can come down and deprotonate this to give us our final product, which is just a ketone. So this, in a series of steps, is what's known as a manic reaction, where you take formaldehyde, some acid, a ketone and some primary or secondary amine and you do an amino alkylation via a mixed aldol type of reaction. So this requires us to first generate an enol species at this position using this ketone and an acid and also recognizing that the same can happen with formaldehyde in order to turbocharge the electrophilic carbons giving us an opportunity to do nucleophilic attack at that carbon position giving us a new carbon to nitrogen bond and then if we bring in that enol it can do the same type of mixed aldol type of reaction where we bring down the pi electrons allowing this carbon carbon double bond to act as a nucleophile for this aminium ion and eventually through a series of proton transfers giving us a new amino alkylated product. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. For next week, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this chemical transformation. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss another mechanism, and I'll see you next Monday.